All right, boys and girls, today we've got a video on my Droid X, and this is gonna be how to install a custom ROM on the Droid X. Um, so let me get into some prerequisites for this. You're gonna have to have, obviously, save, uh, super user installed, which is what gives you your root permission, and you're gonna wanna have Droid X bootstrap to get you into Clockwork Mod Recovery. And then lastly, you're gonna want to have is downloaded which would be your ROM I mean uh, so right here I have a CM4DX gingerbread and I have some uh, Google applications right there those are the two files I'm gonna try to install on this and let's see what we get so to do this you have all that on your phone we're gonna go ahead and go into bootstrap recovery if you guys don't know how to get uh, super user or bootstrap installed I have videos on that um, so we're gonna go ahead and get in here and go to hit reboot recovery and we're going to reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Once we get into Clockwork Mod Recovery, we will go into the install of how to install a custom ROM. So first thing we're going to do is in Clockwork Mod Recovery, I'm going to show you just what Clockwork Mod Recovery this is. This is the Droid X second init Clockwork Mod Recovery, which is version 5.0.2.0 and on the Droid X obviously. So just let me get into some buttons on this thing. You have your volume up and down which is what allows you to scroll through your options. You have your back button which brings you to which brings you back and you have your camera take picture button on the bottom down here which goes ahead and is your select. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and make an Android backup. So you would select that and then you'd select backup. I'm not going to do that right now because I just made one but uh, you want to do that first just in case something goes wrong. So we're going to go back. And then what you're going to want to do first thing is to go ahead and hit wipe data factory reset. So we're going to select that. And then we're going to scroll down to where it says yes, delete all user data and select that. This is going to delete um, all of your applications, all your passwords, everything off of your current operating system. And bring it back to basically factory and you want to do this because you want to have a clean slate when you're installing a new a new uh, when you're installing a new ROM. So that's the first thing you want to do is go ahead and wipe that. All right, that is done. Next, you're going to go to wipe cache partition, select, then go yes wipe, and select, and let it do that, which it actually already did in factory reset, but. I just do it anyway, it's not going to hurt anything to go ahead and do it this way also. So that's done, next we're going to go down here to advanced, select it, and then the first, second option is wipe Delvic cache, and go ahead and select that, and then hit yes wipe, and that was very quick and easy, so now we're going to go back actually, alright, and we're going to scroll down here to install zip from SD card. Select it. Then we're going to say choose zip from SD card. Select that. We're going to scroll down to downloads. That's where I have my zips installed. And there it is. It's the top one. So that is the CM4DX Gingerbread 2012-05-19 zip. And we're going to go ahead and select it. And then scroll down to yes, install. And select that. Um, so this should all function perfectly good. You can see it's got some animation here. It's going to go ahead and install this ROM, which is CM, it says 4, I think it's 7. I don't know. We're going to see what it is when it boots up. I'm going to let it go ahead and finish, and then we're going to go ahead and s install those Google application zip that I have on the top, which will just take a real quick second. So I'm going to pause here. All right, so that went ahead and flashed, which is good. So we want to install those Google applications. So it says choose zip from SD card, top option. Go ahead and select that. Go down to Downloads again, select it. Google Applications right there, select that one. Go down and scroll to Yes, Install, select it, and it's going to install them, which should be really pretty quick. It's a fairly small file, there you go. So that's it, so we're going to actually go back here. And it says Reboot System Now, so we're going to select that with our camera button down here. And it's going to reboot up. So, if everything went correctly, you're going to see probably a new boot animation, I'm assuming. That's going to be a CM, Saijamud, boot animation. And it's going to go ahead and boot up into the ROM. 
Normal boot up time for a first boot up is up to 10 minutes it could take because it's got to just kind of figure out all its files and get everything functioning correctly. Um, so I just want to sit here and maybe we'll see boot animation and then I'll just wait and I'll set it up and show you guys the ROM. Um, also, if this thing boot loops, you definitely got a problem. You may have to SPF the device or do something else to get in there. I'm going to look into how to get into recovery on this device. Um, and I don't, but I don't think you can do it. I think if you mess up a flash, you're going to have to SPF. Then you'll have to just restore your backup after you do that and reroute and all those other good stuff. So there you go. This is Saijimod 7, which is what I thought it was, which is weird why it was called 4. But uh, let's let this thing boot up. I'll show it to you guys, and we'll go from there. So I'll give it a sec. All right, guys, here you go. This is the ROM fully booted up. Boot up only actually took me about three minutes, so not too bad at all. Um, let me just kind of show you guys this. This is your main screen here, so not too bad. You guys do have some quick toggles here for turning on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, GPS, and some audio, which is nice just to be able to, right there, turns the vibe and audio or just vibe you can just switch through some quick toggles right there on your notification pull down love those features like that um, let's go ahead and see what kind of applications we have in here so everything looks pretty standard you do have DSP manager built into this which is nice a um, couple of different FM radio uh, setups there you got your gallery super user obviously because you do have root access ROM manager built into this which is very also very very nice right there you do have a uh, theme chooser and terminal also and your torch turns on your camera light your LED very very nice um, let's see if this is yeah so you got you got your file browser here which is looks like uh, it might be a root file browser let's see what we have here settings it doesn't look like it. it might just be just a plain file browser so anyway you got that right there um, now let me get into what makes Saijin Mod so awesome which is the settings so uh, this does come with ADW launcher built into it Let's see what other settings we got about phone here this actually puts you on Android version 2.3.7 again there is the Droid X and it also says Saijin Mod right here Saijin Mod 7.1.0 Droid X King, so it's not an official release for it, but it is uh, Saijin Mod. So lastly, let's go into our Saijin Mod settings, and this, like I said, is where it really gets fun. You have a little bit of everything in here, um, application tweaks, uh, just just all kinds of goodies, input behaviors for search buttons and long presses and volume rockers and camera stuff and lock screen goodies and widgets options, performance. This gets into your CPU clock speeds, your min, your maxes, and those kind of goodies right there. One gig speed there, obviously. Your governors and things like that. Um, all kinds of heap size, VM heap sizes, and scrolling, and all these all these fun goodies. And you got system down here. Some information on there for Saijin mod. Tablet tweaks on the bottom. So a whole, a whole bunch of customization. That's what makes Saijin Mod such an awesome ROM. And obviously you have all of your ADW launcher settings and all their little tweaks in there. So there you go, guys. That is how to install a custom ROM on the Droid X. Pretty simple. It's like I said, CM7. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you do, please subscribe down below. Check out my website above my thumb. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter. That's it, guys. Hope you like it. Catch you guys next time. Thanks.